Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve P2.49 from, what is it, Hamblis book. So, solve for the node voltages shown in figure P2.49, then find the values of IS, okay? And we are given there are two nodes here, V1 and V2, and our ground is here, so the voltage here will be zero. However, between these two nodes, there is a voltage source, so we will need to use a super node. Okay, maybe let's let's mark our super node here, which include V1 and V2. Okay, and this is the super node that we are talking about. That is including V1 and V2. So the green one here, we name it super node. Okay, and let's assume the direction of the current. Maybe this, let's put this going down. Let's put this going to the right, and this will be also goes to the right, right? And then we also goes this down, and I just follow the arrow here for the current source. So that will be here and there, right? Okay, so we can do KCL at the super node. Let's do that. KCL at super node. Okay, and KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, the sum of the current that goes in the first one is this one, and the value of that is 1. And then plus, we have this current here. Uh, so this is V1 minus V2 divided by 5. Yeah, this is the current that goes into the node, right? And I don't think there is any more. Okay, yeah. All the other currents is going out, so we put the equal sign here. And this current is going out. Okay, so that is the same. So the current is both going in and going out. Yeah. And then what is the other current that goes out? This current here, which is V1 minus 0 divided by 5. Okay, and then plus this current here, which is V2 minus 0 divided by okay this is the same term so this and this will cancel each other and so we can rewrite this as 1 is equal to this one here v1 divided by 5 and then plus v2 divided by 10 okay let's multiply this by 10 so we will have 10 on the left hand side and then we will have 2v1 plus v2. And I don't think we can simplify this anymore. So we'll have 2v1 plus v2 is equal 10 as our first equation. Okay. And we have two variables. So we need two equation. So we need to see inside the super node here which is V1 and V2, okay? So, inside the super node, we know that the difference between V1 and V2 is 10 volt. And let's write that. So, we will have V1 minus V2 is equal to 10. Okay, and this is equation number two. Okay, we have two equation and two variables. I think we can solve this using elimination. So let's do that. So we will have 2v1 plus v2 is equal to 10. And then we will have v1 minus v2 is equal to 10. So we will have 3v1 here. Let's add them up. 3v1 is equal to 20. So we will have V1 is equal to 
six six seven four. Okay, so we will have the P one. Uh, but V2 is, what is it? V2 is V1 minus 10. Okay. So V2 is equal to V1 minus 10. So we will have 6.667 minus 10. And that will be our V2 minus 3.333 right and the unit here will be volt but the question does not ask about v1 or v2 we are asked about the value of is so we need to find out this is here okay and to find out that we can use kcl at v1 okay let's do that KCL at V1. Okay, KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. But no current going in from here. So that will be zero on the left hand side. We'll have zero. And then on the right hand side, we will have this part here, V1 over 5. Okay, V1 over 5 plus IS that we are looking for and then plus this current here is also going out. So I will have V1 minus V2 divided by 10. Okay, so we will have 0 here and this will be 6.667 divided by 5 plus is and then plus we will have this one here but v1 minus v2 is 10 so we will have 10 divided by 10 and so that is 1 right so we will have 1 so is is equal to minus 1 minus 6.667 divided by 5. I think this is the job of calculator. Let's do exactly that. So we will have minus 1 minus and we will have 6.667 divided by 5. Syntax error? Why? Oh, this is not minus. Yeah, I will have minus 2.333 minus 2.333 and the unit here is ampere and i think this is the final answer for this question okay i think that's all for problem p2.49 hope this will help you to solve this problem see you in the next video bye bye